All right, today we are going to talk about the VDR4, but we're really going to talk about putting the circuit on the VDR4, okay? So what you need for the circuit is Percussion Air sends you a very nice kit that has all the parts that you'll need for that. And then what I'm also going to need to do is I'm going to need to have a standard ventilator circuit to go with it. So whatever your humidifier uh, system that you use, you take your ventilator circuit and marry the two together. In this scenario, it's a concha heater, okay? So let's take stuff out of the circuit and see if we can set this guy up. So the first thing is the expiratory valve. Now this is a different style of expiratory valve than I've ever seen on a ventilator, but it simply goes right here on this arm. This expiratory valve and circuit also has a reservoir bag. We will get more into this when we talk um, in the next video, but basically either during inspiratory or the expiratory flow phase of the ventilator, a patient can get extra uh, volume if they need to take extra breath above and beyond that. Okay, now this is the phasotron or the valving mechanism, and then this is the tubing harness. And we're going to take this piece of paper off. The company did a very nice job of color coding this tubing harness, and so I simply match color to color. Now where I match color to color is right over here on the ventilator, okay? And so I'm simply going to go yellow to yellow, green to green, white to white, and red to red. Now, it is a, a very different ventilator circuit in that flow is going to come out of this, come over here, and actually power this valving mechanism back and forth. And actually, this is the flow that's coming out of the ventilator. It's labeled phasotron that comes here and powers this forward. They have these very nice connections that just connect simply like this. Now there's two other lines here. We want to know where those are going to go, and that's going to go for this nebulizer. But for the moment, we're going to grab my ventilator circuitry too. So, so far I've got the expiratory valve, the actual valving mechanism that will go with the patient, and then I've hooked it to the ventilator. And let's just put it over here for the moment. Okay, we're all familiar with ventilator circuits. So, I'm going to take this nebulizer, if you will, the blue piece of that, and I'm going to hook this up to this side of the humidifier, okay? So I'm going to take this inspiratory limb, and I'm just going to simply hook it up to the other side of the humidifier. Now the manufacturer did a very nice job of making the plastic different colors, so it helps me when I set this ventilator circuit up. I simply take blue to blue, I have my inspiratory limb going here. In another video, we'll talk about the physics of the phasotron, but basically, you and me build flow from the ventilator here, but it also entrains flow. These two flows go together and go out the phasotron. I still got to put my expiratory limb together, so let's put this over here for one second. I grab my white tubing, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to grab, I'm going to put white to white. I'm going to put this up here again. And I'm simply going to go to this part of this expiratory valving mechanism and put white to white too. Now, I still have to hook the two tubings here to power this nebulizer. And this is nothing more than a nebulizer that's going to provide nebulized humidity going into humidifier to power this circuit. Today we're talking about the ventilator circuit that the manufacturer provides and recommends that we start to use with the VDR. So again, um, let's say it's been a while since you've watched this video and you try to accidentally put it to this connection. You could never accidentally put it to the wrong connection. I simply go green to green. I hear that nice snap. Then I go down to the bottom where there's a yellow one. I hear that nice snap. Let's go ahead and put the test lung on the circuit itself. And this would be the circuitry itself. We are going to um, go ahead and we'll kind of rearrange this circuitry and then let's fire up the ventilator and see what it looks like.
Okay, so we want to now turn the ventilator on. I'm going to come back here to this toggle switch. The toggle switch just turns on the monitor. This is the fluidics ventilator. So to actually turn the ventilator on, I'm going to turn on internal working pressure there. One thing I want you to notice again and let's talk about is that there is a filter in this red line. This is a hydrophobic filter. It is meant to protect the ventilator from excessive water. If it gets more than half full of water, please change it. We're going to slide this circuit over a little bit like this. I want to talk about the reservoir. Remember, this is the reservoir down here. This allows the patient to get extra flow through any cycle of ventilation. The last thing is we're going up to the monitor itself up here. This actually shows the high frequency waveform and the times of the different parts of the waveform. In our next video, we'll get into more detail about the waveform itself.